Good morning, everyone. I am Zona from Andreani Group, and I work as a technician in the off-road department. Today, we are here because we want to show you one of the latest features of our DinoSpring software. Uh, in particular, the, the ability, the possibility of mixing together and so uh, virtually rebuild the, uh, total for the, the total of the force that we have in a, in a suspension. In the example that we want to take to get to today, we are going to measure uh, separately a shock absorber, a spring and the bump rubber, uh, and then merge them together with the software so to have the complete picture of the, the force that we are dealing with. We are seeing that we are testing the shock absorber itself so that we are able to characterize the force of the gas that we have in a shock and the progression that it creates, that it creates during the stroke. Uh, and also in this case, uh, we can measure also the, the friction of the piston band and so maybe compare the friction of a new piston band compared to the one of a damaged or used or wear piston band. Then we pass to measure the, the spring itself of, of the shock, so we install only the spring and so we will be able to characterize the, the progression that we have. In this case we are dealing with a linear spring but it could also be uh, a progressive spring, a uh, double kit system spring, so we are able to characterize the progression of the spring during all of the stroke of the, of the shock. And then finally we measure uh, the bump rubber itself, so to have the picture of the particular progression of the bump rubber that we, that we are using. And, um, and once we have measured all of the single components, we, we can pass to the, to the software analysis and, let, and, and merge them together to see the complete picture. So once we have done our, our test and our measuring and the machine, we, we download all of the information in the software and right now, we, as you can see, we have um, the red line, the red graphic, which indicates the, um, the force of the shock itself. So what we see is the the, the force of the gas inside of the reservoir and the friction of the piston bed that it creates this, this force that we see is basically a flat force. We see in, uh, in the red graphic the force of the spring, the 42 Newton millimeter spring, which so it's, it's a linear spring. And in pink we see the particular progression of the bump rubber. The bump rubber measured itself. Once we have those pictures we can just merge the file together by click on the plus button and merge together at first the, the graphic of the shock itself plus the graphic of the spring. And so we will find this new uh, light blue graphic which is uh, force of the shock, of the gas of the shock plus force of the spring. And then to this one we add again the force of the bump rubber. Since the bump rubber does not start at the beginning of the stroke but with uh, an offset we can say uh, the, 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 the WP shock has uh, 95 millimeter of free stroke or stroke to the bump rubber. So 95 millimeter of stroke before engaging the bump rubber we just select 95 which is the millimeter. We click start and then we can choose the color in green we will see the total picture of the force that we have in our shock. So removing all of the other graphic from the path, we'll have the complete graphic of the force of all uh, the of the entire shock working on the on the um, on the bike. So we'll see in the, this very first part the um, action of the top hot spring. At a certain point, 95 millimeter, it engages the bump rubber and show this different progression and have a complete picture of the static elastic force that we have at each millimeter of the stroke that we cover.